Welcome to channel 69, and you have Big Hurt with the Ghetto Report. What's up, Big Hurt, back with another edition of the Ghetto Report. We want to talk about the shooting down in Florida. They had first reports that Jack Boyd was shot, but then we found out later on that his brother was shot. And the way Bruh. we hear it is that whoever shot him, perpetrator or the perpetrators were laying in wait, and they wait till like 7 a.m. That means they probably was out there all night. And it was a gated community, so we have questions of like, how did they get into the gated community? What type of security was being provided at this gated community? But in any event, we want to offer our um, sympathies to Jack Boy and his family, and we want to issue a word of caution to Jack Boy, because he went to IG Live right after that, and was dancing around, a little alcohol, and talking about it was fake news, and showing his stomach like he wasn't shot. Kind of, you know, insensitive to be doing that, Jack Boy, while your brother's in the hospital being critical. And also, the people that, we don't know, they said the police was on the news and said it was a targeted hit. So you really gotta think, you should sit down and think for a moment, who was the target, you or your brother? Because if you were the target, then they may still be out there looking to try to get at you. We saying this as a word of caution, because we had to get a report of tired of hip hop artists being assassinated and killed by people that look just like them. So we trying to offer a little warning to Jack Boy, like, you know, maybe you should um, clean your act up and um, look out for yourself. Because all that popping shit on IG, that ain't the way to go. We also want to talk about... We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. A lot of people saying I was capping that that more than President Biden, who sat down with the Ukraine um, president recently and pledged $61 billion for Ukraine. Now, we were talking about that at the Ghetto Report, too. We were saying to ourselves, you know, it's kind of crazy that the president just keeps giving and giving and giving taxpayer money away. You know, they support Ukraine, they support Israel. And we're not saying that these nations don't need support, but how long are we going to be able to support them when we at home are hurting, you know? We, we broadcast this Ghetto Report from New York City. And in New York City, we have a big problem with the migrant situation where New York is nearly broke. Right. You know, Mayor Adams has been going to Washington trying to get a face-to-face -face with the president. And it seems like every time he goes there, the president leaves town. I don't know what that's about. Like, he don't want to sit down with Mayor Adams, but you sit down with other world leaders. And, I mean, take care of home first because... If you don't take care of home first, the people may rebel against you. We feel like everybody in New York should go to Washington next time Mayor Adams goes and sit on the White House lawn and go to um, Biden's house because you really, you ignore New York and we in a state of despair over here. You know, we got buildings collapsed. Buildings fell out in the box. Our infrastructure's messed up. We got people living all over the streets. We got these mig 100,000 migrants that came to the city because we arrived to shelter state. We need help. We're not asking for 61 billion. So if you can give another nation 61 billion, you can spare a couple of billion for your home. You know what I'm saying? In New York City, because you are the president of the whole United States. New York City is a part of the United States last time we looked. So, you know, that's just a little word from the Ghetto Report, and we want everybody in New York and outside of New York to take this matter seriously, because, listen, I know those that live outside of New York City might feel like, well, that's New York's problem. It's New York's problem today, but it might be your problem tomorrow. So take it from Big Hurt, you know what I'm saying? If they do that to New York City, they do that to everybody else. That was another edition of the Ghetto Report. Big Hurt and I'm out. Come on, you don't want nobody else to cop. You just cop two from me. Let somebody else get a couple of Yo, what's up? It's easy peasy. I got that pure attraction mix. This right here had them niggas all over. You know what I'm saying? Cop this. If you ain't got your gift for her for Christmas yet, and Valentine's Day coming right after Christmas, I got a case of these. They fell off the truck. That pure attraction. Listen, they going for $5. These cost $45 in the store. Trust me, I wouldn't lie to you. Easy peasy. I got them, please. I'm all over the projects. Holler at me. Holler out the window. Holler off the roof. Let somebody know you want them. And I come back easy peasy i got him for five dollars pure attraction yo the nigga won't he'll be licking on your back easy peasy i'm out